Good morning. This is Agashwani Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. President Draupadi Mumu has given her assent to the Women's Reservation Bill, which was passed by both houses during the recent special session of Parliament. The central government has issued a Gazette notification for legislation, which is also called Nari Shakti Vandan Athiniyam. Now the legislation has become a law. The law provides for 33% reservation to women in the Lok Sabha and state assemblies as well as the Delhi Assembly. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will launch a unique week-long programme for aspirational blocks in New Delhi today. The program has been named as Sangalb Sapta. It is linked to the effective implementation of the Aspirational Blocks program, which is aimed at improving governance at a block level to enhance the quality of life of citizens. The event will witness the participation of about 3,000 panchayats and block level people's representatives and the functionaries from across the country at Bharat Mandabam in the national capital. In addition, about two like people, including block and panchayat level functionaries and farmers, will join the program virtually. Governor of Nagalan Lal Ganesan said, healthcare is one of the most critical sectors for developments, adding that quality healthcare forms the bedrock of any prosperous society. The governor said this yesterday during the Ayushman Pav Mela come inauguration of the new primary health centre building in Poza in the presence of Chief Minister Nipirio, Health and Family Welfare Minister P. Paiwan Konyak, host of ministers, advisors, bureaucrats, village leaders and community of the area. He said inaugurating the building is a significant milestone in the journey towards providing comprehensive health care to the people. On the Ayushman Pav Mela, the Governor appreciated the Health and Family Welfare Department and the village authorities for their tireless efforts in making the Mela a reality. He said the drive for health quality is the cornerstone of the Ayushman Pav initiative, a name inspired from an age-old Sanskrit phrase, long live life. Stating that Ayushman Pav is a commitment made to the welfare of the society, he said it is a collaboration of the governmental bodies, healthcare providers or the public and reminded everyone the importance of working together and fulfil in making the dream of health for all a reality. The governor expressed confidence that the knowledge, skills, passion and willingness of the health professionals Volunteers and village authorities to serve their fellow men will make the Ayushman Pava campaign a success. He added that our goal is not only to cure diseases but to promote an entire culture of wellness. Ganesan called upon all to work together to promote a healthier lifestyle among the people, which is the true essence of the Ayushman Pava campaign. Chief Minister Nipirio in his speech said that a facility which is completed in record time will help the people of Potsa and the neighbouring villages get better access to healthcare facilities. He also urged upon the people of the area to come forward and take ownership of the PHC and contribute to its growth. Rio encouraged the officers and staff of the PHC to be sincere in their duties so that the benefits of improved health care facilities will be easily accessible to the public. The Chief Minister, while asserting that health is wealth, encouraged the public to go for regular checkups for early treatment and diagnostics. Advocating the benefits of Chief Minister's health insurance scheme, Rio urged everyone to avail the facility, which will not only ease the burden of the general public, but the government servants as well. The government yesterday revised the interest rates for small saving schemes for the third quarter of this fiscal, starting from 1st of October. According to the Finance Ministry, the five-year recurring deposit will now fetch 6.7% interest rate against the existing 6.5% rate. However, there is no change in the interest rates for all other small saving schemes and they will continue to offer the same rate of interest as they did in July to September period. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.